This is Moldy Cake Radio, coming to you from the wasteland. Up next, euphoric radioactive beats. Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Apocalypse Map Update video. Now, last time I played, I showcased off this gas station I built, and also this little, little cargo truck here that brings cargo to this little gas station here, which is also a trading post for survivors. Anyways, what I have for you guys today is something pretty cool. Some of you actually requested it in the comments of my previous videos, and what it is, is it is actually a radio transmission station, and it is all the way over there. I don't think we could really see it from here because it is pretty foggy. Anyways, it's on the mountain behind my factory and we're gonna get right into that right now. So let's go. I also built this pickup truck for the radio station. I don't know if it really fits the theme of a radio station, but it is pretty awesome. It is like a survivor's pickup truck, a lifted pickup truck that is, because look how lifted it is. It also has the realistic suspension. We're going to hop in the truck here, and there we go. We have three buttons here. These two buttons open and close the doors. This one at the back opens the tailgate. And that's pretty much it. And what we have on the back here is an external fuel tank for uh, hauling gas to our radio station. Because our radio station actually uses a generator. There's actually no power in the game, but just for roleplay terms, it uses the generator for power. And we just come to this gas station here to pick up some fuel for our generator when it is low. And maybe some other supplies, I'm not sure. But anyways... We have this truck here. It is awesome, like I was saying. It is a little front heavy and it also kind of leans to one side because it is lopsided on the suspension. But other than that, it works great. I also have holes there that I gotta fix. There we go, I fixed that. I don't know how I missed that. But anyways, we're gonna head to the radio transmission station that is on top of the mountain. But before we do that, I want to let you guys know that I am always looking for submissions, either it be the apocalypse map or the mini city. I am looking for themed based builds like vehicles, buildings, or even props from you guys. If you guys want to send any to me, send them to the addresses on the screen. You can either send them through email or also through my Twitter. You're going to fall. No. <laughs> but anyways, if we just head back up this path, and go towards the back near our vintage house. We will come across a path that will lead up to the transmission station. Now I don't know if the transmission station is pre-war military or if it's just like a radio station, but I don't have the proper radio tower for it to be an actual radio station kind of building because all we have up top is a directional antenna. You guys will see it once we get there. But anyways, this back here is our pre-war vintage house. It is very similar to the Fallout 4 houses. And we're gonna go up to the back here, up this hill. And we're gonna go through this path. We'll be there pretty soon. Anyways, we're gonna take a quick look at the suspension of our truck here. It is pretty nice. The front is a little heavy, so it kind of dips here and there when we're stopping. But it works great. I might have to add more weight to the back if I can because it's not really getting affected by gravity or even bumps. Look at that. Barely anything. So I'm going to have to put more weight on it or remove some weight from the front of the truck. But anyways, here we are. This is the radio transmission station. It looks pretty good. I'm still working on it. I still got some things to add here and there. But anyways, say we just got some fuel from the gas station. All we do is just... Park pretty close to that generator that is right here. We have some gas tanks there. I'm just back up here. And there we go. Now, I know what you guys are saying. This truck does not look rusted at all. There's some rusty spots here and there. But usually in an apocalypse, it would have a lot of rust. The rims have rust, but the truck itself does not. Maybe they repainted it. Maybe there's like a apocalyptic body shop somewhere that paints vehicles. I don't know. But it is very well preserved for being a truck. And it is it is pretty big compared to some of, my, some of my other vehicles. That's the problem with scrap mechanic though. If you want to build something kind of semi-realistic, your proportions are going to be out of whack. Now, I did the best I could to make this look a little realistic. But it still has a long way to go. For the theme that I built here, is it is just a 
I guess it was like a military radio station taken over by like a survivor and used as a way to transmit music. Music and stuff like that to bring happiness to the wasteland or something like that. Or maybe it could be like propaganda. Up next, euphoric radioactive beats. Maybe it's someone bad in this in this station here. I don't know. If you guys have played Fallout 3, then you remember Galaxy News Radio, and this is kind of inspired by that, but the building itself is inspired by Fallout New Vegas's Black Mountain Radio. You guys probably noticed that if you've played a lot of the game, it resembles the radio station from the Black Mountain radio station a lot. A little smaller though, and we have the tower up top, but we don't have the actual radio transmission tower that is usually on the side here to transmit to an spherical radius instead of a directional radius like this directional antenna up there which is pointing directly up. Maybe they're contacting aliens. I don't know. That would actually be a pretty interesting theme. A crashed UFO. I think that would be pretty nice. I might hold that idea back to the radio station here. So we got this little generator here and these little gas tanks. These gas tanks could be a way to store the fuel, the diesel or gas, whatever they use, maybe biodiesel. <laughs> I don't know um, how they would produce fuel in the apocalypse. Probably biodiesel, biodegraded um, matter. I don't know how that really works. But yeah, this is just a storage tank here to store fuel. And this is our generator, which actually works, even though there is no proper power in the game at the moment. It's just for roleplay at the moment. Now, it, I, I know what you guys are thinking. Someone could come up and steal this, but no, it, it, it is chained down. It is welded to the ground in scrap mechanic terms. No one could steal that unless they, I guess if they break that right there and that, and then they could just haul it away, weld it to their vehicle or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but in terms of roleplay, I don't think anyone would want to steal that. It is, it is probably pretty heavy, but anyways. We got like this broken fence here and there. It is in shambles. There's pieces here and there laying around. It has fallen. We got some boxes and spare tires here. And this, this was actually sent to me by Quick Question. He sent a bunch of these props that I'm probably gonna use in my future videos. So let's head inside the radio transmission station. But before we go in there, Keep in mind that I don't know what these things look like inside. I just took a look at a bunch of pictures on Google about military communication centers, also some radio station data boards and stuff like that. We're gonna head inside and here we go. Now the walls and stuff look pretty gross. It could either be moss or it could be paint that has peeled off from the age of the building. Or maybe even heat from gamma radiation, if that if that's how that works. But anyways, what we have here is we have some boards, data boards, maybe some uh, storage units. But what these actually do is these are actually controllers for all the doors and such. But over here we have another control panel. All these are the buttons. We got some switches, levers, stuff like that. I guess this would be like the mixing area for pre-show based stuff. I don't know if it would be in use at all, but the place above us, oh, there's a hole up here. I forgot about that. <laughs> but the place above us is where they actually transmit and host the live show. So we have a little desk here, pretty cool. Some more controllers, a box, just a round box and our fuse box, <laughs> almost forgot the name. So if we head out to the back door here, We'll come to a set of stairs, and these set of stairs will lead up to the other floor. We have some boxes underneath the stairs here, and I actually forgot to make these look like they're a little rusted, so I'm just gonna kind of differentiate the paint here, give it some grimy look. I think that works. You can't really do much, because you only really have like, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine colors to kind of simulate rust. Hopefully we get more colors in the future of Scrap Mechanic. Also speaking of the future of Scrap Mechanic, the new engine is coming to Test Branch on the 31st, which is a Monday. I can't wait to test that, but I'm a little scared because I don't know how our maps are going to play out in the new update. I'm not sure if they did any changes to the maps. 
but I'm a little scared to see what happens. But we'll get there. Anyways, we're going to head up to the stairs here. We're going to come to this platform. And there's going to be a door here that leads into the recording room. So this is our recording station. And this is where the satellite up top or the antenna gets controlled. We have some windows up here that are kind of covered with some tattered cloths. Or blankets or leather. I don't know. They're worn out. That's all that matters. <laughs> We got some chairs flipped over here. We have a sleeping bag for the survivor. Maybe the radio host. A lone radio host. We have our radio here. Yeah. And then we also have some more control boards here. None of these work. They're just for looks. Some lights. Some, some consoles or screens here. <laughs> and we got some more data boards. That one's flipped over. And this is where we actually control the antenna up above. Now, what I actually forgot to do is I forgot to actually make a microphone for the radio host. There we go. We got a little microphone. It's not the best, but it works. <laughs> kind of blocks the control panel, but whatever. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how we control this antenna up above. So right now it's just pointing off into space out of nowhere, maybe transmitting to some aliens. But anyways, what we do here is we got these four buttons here. Four, four dials, which actually control the direction of the antenna up there. Or the satellite dish. The satellite dish is probably a better term. So, the satellite dish, how we control it is we flip these two buttons here. That one actually, I think, that one turns it. Yeah, it's turning. Alright, we got it in the proper position. And then we just flip this one here. And this one will push it downwards like that. Awesome. Okay, that was a little fast. I think I have to kind of fiddle with that. There we go. That looks a little better, a little more realistic. That will point to that direction. I don't know if it would actually transmit anything, but in a roleplay sense, I guess that kind of works. Anything in that radius would have transmission, I guess. I need to build an actual tower. <laughs> actual radio antenna. But anyways, that is the radio station. I'm actually going to fall through this hole. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and we're going to hop back in our truck because that's pretty much it for the radio transmission station. But if you guys have any suggestions for themes or any type of improvement for my builds, please let me know in the comments because I'm looking for a lot more suggestions on builds. I think what I'm going to be doing in the future is I'm actually going to be building another military base. I'm going to be building a supermarket, a rundown supermarket. And I might also be building some crashed vehicles, some crashed aircraft inside the wasteland. That would be pretty cool, I think. So we're going to head down here. Just go for a little drive. I want to kind of see how our vehicle handles off a cliff. So we're just going to, we're just going to jump this like that. Anticlimactic. I thought we were going to land on our tires. <laughs> I guess we didn't. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It was pretty short. Halloween's coming up pretty soon. I don't think I have anything planned yet. Maybe I'll do a horror game or something like that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye. Euphoric Radioactive Beat. Beat.